We're on the table, but um, here we are. Now I'm fighting Charles, number one contender fight. And I've always wanted to chase the title. That's always been my, been my goal. I beat Charles. And then if Connor can get his house in order finally, then he and I can finish that. If not, I'll go beat Islam. Times. So I've been tested more than twice. All these other athletes, yet I struggle to get a date. So, you know, I've talked to Sheikh Turkey and said, Sheikh Turkey, can you assist me here? You know, as far as Chandler uh, rematching re, re Oliveira, I'm happy with the date. It's November. Maybe we can still do it after if they're not going to line me out till maybe December, or January, February or some one of these dates. You know, maybe the speculation surrounding a potential fight between Michael Chandler and Charles Oliveira has been building momentum in recent weeks with Chandler openly discussing the possibility and the excitement it brings. Chandler has expressed his enthusiasm about the matchup, acknowledging that facing Oliveira would be a major opportunity for him to stay active in the UFC and continue his climb towards the top of the lightweight division. He described the prospect of fighting Oliveira as a chance to not only test his skills against a formidable opponent, but also to avenge his previous loss, which still weighs on his mind. On for now. Uh, I mean, it was the most, it was the most real thing that we had, right? Because for, for over a year, it was dates thrown out and there was all kinds of stuff going on, but we actually had a contract. I got a bout agreement, I signed it. Conor McGregor, June 29th, at this weight, at this venue. Chandler has made it clear that a rematch with Oliveira would not just be another fight for him. It would be personal. Reflecting on their first bout, Chandler admitted that he made critical mistakes that ultimately led to his defeat. However, he expressed confidence in his ability to learn from those mistakes and use that knowledge to his advantage in a potential second fight. Chandler emphasized that he has grown as a fighter since their last meeting and is now better prepared to handle Oliveira's unique style and strengths. He has frequently mentioned that he is eager to prove that the outcome of their first encounter was not indicative of his true abilities. A ton of respect for him, but this is the way it was supposed to be. And, it, and I, needed, I needed it to be a redemption story. This is how it's all playing itself out. I needed to lose to Charles to then beat Charles to right that wrong, to then get the title shot again, to then go beat a guy who's even... In speaking about Oliveira, Chandler has consistently shown a great deal of respect for the Brazilian fighter. He has acknowledged Oliveira's impressive track record and his evolution into one of the top fighters in the lightweight division. Chandler has commented on Oliveira's resilience and well-rounded skill set, particularly noting his dangerous ground game and striking abilities. Despite this respect, Chandler remains confident in his chances in a potential rematch, repeatedly stating that he believes he has the tools to defeat Oliveira and come out on top this time. Charles Oliveira stole my dream of becoming UFC champion, my number one goal, becoming the number one guy in the entire world back in Houston, Texas, my second fight in the UFC. So now, talk to Henry Hoofter this morning, we're putting together a game plan to go beat him in a rematch. Chandler has also highlighted how a fight with Oliveira fits into his larger career goals, he has explained that beating Oliveira would be an important stepping stone on his path to either reclaiming a title shot or securing a much-anticipated fight with Conor McGregor. Chandler has been clear that while he respects Oliveira, his ultimate ambition is to become the UFC lightweight champion. He sees every fight, including a potential rematch with Oliveira, as a critical piece of that puzzle. Chandler's drive and determination are evident as he speaks about how every fight brings him closer to achieving his ultimate goal. From Oliveira's side, there has been less public discussion about the potential fight, but fans and analysts have speculated that Oliveira would welcome the opportunity to fight Chandler again. Oliveira has been on an impressive run in the UFC, and a rematch with Chandler could offer him the chance to solidify his dominance in the lightweight division. Some experts believe that Oliveira would relish the opportunity to prove that his previous victory over Chandler was not a fluke, and that he remains the superior fighter. This narrative adds another layer of intrigue to the potential matchup. Mixed martial arts. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to fight Charles Oliveira. Why am I going to fight Charles Oliveira? Number one, it's a badass fight. Number two, it's a rematch. It's a redemption story for me. The dude who already stole from me, rightfully so, in a fight, in a fair fight, he stole my dream, shattered my dreams of becoming UFC champion. Now I get the opportunity to fight Charles Oliveira, become the number one contender. Both fighters' styles and their past history make this a highly anticipated fight among UFC fans. Chandler's aggressive, high-paced approach 
contrasts with Oliveira's more methodical and technical style, particularly on the ground. Their first fight was filled with dramatic moments, and many believe that a rematch would be just as exciting, if not more so. The prospect of Chandler seeking redemption while Oliveira aims to reaffirm his status creates a compelling storyline that has captured the attention of the MMA community. Chandler has remained vocal about his desire to stay active and take on top-tier opponents, and Oliveira represents one of the most challenging fighters in the division. As Chandler continues to push for the rematch, fans and analysts alike are eager to see whether this fight will materialize, and if it does, whether Chandler can make the necessary adjustments to defeat Oliveira in their second meeting. For now, the speculation continues, but the excitement surrounding the potential fight only grows stronger with each passing day. I hit him, he went down to his back, pulled guard. Gaethje hit him, hurt him, he went down to the guard. Poirier hit him, hurt him, and he went down to guard. He was knowingly um, forcing himself to go to the guard and forcing you to make a decision. Okay, you hit me. Okay, I went down. Now, come into my world. And most guys don't go on top of him. Michael Chandler opened up about his feelings regarding the cancellation of his much-anticipated fight with Conor McGregor and the subsequent decision to fight Charles Oliveira instead. Chandler began by acknowledging the deep disappointment that came with the McGregor fight falling through. He shared that the shift away from the McGregor bout had been something he was aware of for several weeks, though he had maintained a professional attitude and kept it confidential. He revealed that the fight with McGregor had originally been scheduled for June, but McGregor pulled out at the last minute, leaving Chandler frustrated. However, he expressed his understanding of the complexities that come with organizing such a high-profile fight and emphasized his belief in the UFC's dedication to making it happen. The UFC, according to Chandler, had engaged in numerous discussions with both fighters, and they even had a signed contract. Still, the uncertainty around McGregor's return and the various delays that came with it had tested Chandler's patience. Chandler was clear that the McGregor fight's cancellation wasn't a sudden development. He pointed out that discussions about potential dates for the fight had been ongoing for over a year. While fans may have been caught off guard by the news, Chandler had been preparing for this outcome for some time. Despite the frustration, he maintained a level-headed approach, trusting that the UFC had done everything in its power to make the fight with McGregor happen. Nonetheless, Chandler was pragmatic, understanding that the fight business can be unpredictable, especially when it involves a star of McGregor's magnitude. There you have it, boys and girls. Um, I'm not even going to respond to Connor's stupid little tweet acting like I dipped. The simple fact of the matter is you are the most unreliable human being that has ever graced mixed martial arts. Turning his attention to his upcoming bout, Chandler explained his decision to accept a fight with Charles Oliveira. He spoke about how, as an active fighter, he could not afford to wait indefinitely for McGregor's uncertain return. Staying relevant in the UFC required Chandler to keep fighting, and the opportunity to face Oliveira presented itself at the right time. Chandler described the Oliveira rematch as a perfect chance to stay active while positioning himself as the number one contender in the lightweight division. He noted that securing a victory over Oliveira could very well set the stage for a future fight with McGregor, or potentially a shot at the UFC lightweight championship. Currently. Yeah. He went on to express his respect for Oliveira, a fighter he has faced before. He regarded the rematch as an opportunity to showcase his growth and evolution as a competitor since their last encounter. Chandler made it clear that he wasn't someone who dwelled on past defeats. Instead, he saw rematches as valuable learning experiences, a chance to correct previous mistakes and demonstrate the improvements he's made since his initial fight with Oliveira. He believed that this rematch could serve as a turning point in his career and might be the stepping stone he needs to earn another title shot in the UFC's highly competitive lightweight division. Despite the disappointment of not securing the fight with McGregor, Chandler expressed excitement about his future in the sport. He mentioned several high-profile fights that could still be in his future, including bouts with Islam Makachev and even the possibility of facing Max Holloway at some point. These potential matchups, according to Chandler, were just as thrilling as the McGregor fight, and he remained optimistic about the path ahead. Even with the setback, Chandler's focus was on moving forward, 
and he stressed that the upcoming fight with Oliveira was just one of many exciting opportunities on the horizon. In a lighter moment during the interview, Chandler humorously reflected on his long-standing desire to fight in Las Vegas, the traditional home of major UFC events. For years, Chandler had envisioned himself competing in the fight capital of the world, but instead, his bout with Oliveira would take place at Madison Square Garden in New York. While he found it ironic that his first fight at this iconic venue would be against Oliveira, Chandler embraced the opportunity. He joked about the unexpected twist in his career trajectory, showing that he could appreciate the humor in the situation, even as he prepared for one of the most important fights of his career. So, all I can do is carry on doing what I'm doing. You know, I test under the, under the uh, testing administration, I train daily, and you know, that's it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it, it, it all. Chandler also took a moment to reflect on his feelings toward McGregor, emphasizing the respect he has for the Irish fighter. Despite the delays and frustrations, Chandler maintained that McGregor is one of the hardest working athletes in the sport. He acknowledged that scheduling a fight with McGregor comes with unique challenges, given McGregor's star power and the high profile nature of any event he's involved in. Unlike other fighters, McGregor's fights require special consideration regarding dates and venues, which complicates the process. However, Chandler didn't seem to hold any resentment toward McGregor. Instead, he recognized the complexities of organizing such a high caliber fight and expressed his hope that the matchup would still happen in the future. Throughout the interview, Chandler's professionalism and commitment to his career were evident. While he admitted to being disappointed by the McGregor fight falling through, he remained focused on the task at hand. He spoke enthusiastically about the Oliveira rematch and the opportunity it presented, not only to avenge his previous loss, but also to advance his position within the UFC. Chandler's remarks highlighted his respect for both McGregor and Oliveira, two fighters he views as important figures in his journey toward the UFC lightweight championship. Michael Chandler's reflections on the canceled McGregor fight and the upcoming Oliveira bout demonstrate his unwavering dedication to staying active in the UFC. Despite the disappointment of missing out on the chance to fight McGregor, Chandler has shifted his focus to the future, embracing the challenge of facing Oliveira once again. His professionalism, respect for his fellow fighters, and excitement for what lies ahead show a fighter who is not easily deterred by setbacks. Chandler's commitment to improving and competing at the highest level remains clear, as he continues to pursue his ultimate goal of becoming the UFC lightweight champion. Whether or not a future fight with McGregor materializes, Chandler's path is one defined by hard work, resilience, and a deep passion for the sport of mixed martial arts. Michael, you've never wavered uh, the longest this goes on about you're going to be the guy for Connor when he comes back, even when other names have been floated out there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you remain that confident no matter what happens in these next, let's say, six or so months that you will still be the guy regardless if another guy, another contender just starts making noise? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that happens. Um, I think the public perception is, you know, Connor, Connor thinks he can come back and, and dictate who he comes back and fights. Um, let him think that. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But more than, more than anything, four weeks ago, I whiteboarded an entire path out with my, my wife, Bree, who is the most, the most wise person I've ever been around in my entire life. And we made this decision. We sat down and we said, we're, we're pivoting, we're fighting Charles Oliveira, and this is why. There's five different reasons why. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really concern myself with it because I got, I got a job to do November 16th. Conor McGregor recently shared his thoughts on Michael Chandler accepting a fight against Charles Oliveira, offering insights into both Chandler's fighting abilities and the dynamics of the potential fight. McGregor expressed confidence in his own skills, believing that Chandler would have struggled against him had their fight materialized. Reflecting on Chandler's decision to fight Oliveira instead, McGregor seemed unfazed, explaining that while Chandler is a skilled fighter, he has not faced anyone quite like McGregor before. In his view, Chandler's style, which McGregor described as typical of a wrestler in mixed martial arts, MMA, was not unique or particularly challenging for him. McGregor stated that he had encountered fighters with similar styles throughout his career. Comparing Chandler's skill set to that of other opponents, he had dominated in the past. During the discussion, 
McGregor mentioned that Chandler's previous experience in smaller promotions before rising to the UFC was commendable, but ultimately not enough to match the higher skill levels McGregor believes he possesses. McGregor acknowledged that Chandler had earned his spot in the UFC and had fought well to reach his current position in the lightweight division. However, McGregor emphasized that he had fought against top-tier opponents throughout his career, and Chandler's skills, while respectable, were not on the same level. McGregor believed that Chandler's fight history, though impressive, would not have prepared him for a matchup with someone of McGregor's caliber. McGregor also commented on how Chandler's fighting style, characterized by a strong wrestling base and aggression, would not have been a significant threat to him. He highlighted his experience dealing with fighters like Chad Mendes, who had a similar skill set, and how he had successfully navigated those challenges. McGregor's confidence was apparent as he described his ability to neutralize such fighters, suggesting that Chandler's approach would have been ineffective against him. According to McGregor, his own striking precision and overall versatility in the octagon would have exposed the gap in skill between them. Uh, everybody, every, and it's funny because I, I made this decision like four weeks ago. I was going to fight Charles, um, but I keep my mouth shut. Despite Chandler's decision to move forward with the Oliveira fight, McGregor remained focused on his own goals and ambitions. He reiterated his excitement to return to the octagon and prove his dominance once again. McGregor hinted that his return would showcase the levels of difference between him and the competition, reinforcing his belief that he remains one of the most skilled fighters in the UFC. McGregor's statements reflected his unwavering confidence as he looked forward to future opportunities to prove himself, whether against Chandler or another top contender. McGregor's response to Chandler accepting the Oliveira fight was one of quiet confidence. He respected Chandler's journey to the UFC and acknowledged his achievements, but ultimately, McGregor believed that had their fight taken place, he would have shown a clear gap in skill and experience. With his focus now on future fights, McGregor seemed ready to move forward and continue building on his legacy in the sport. Don't forget to subscribe and click the video on the screen for more UFC news.